Hello, hello. How are we doing, guys? Good morning, friends. Joe here. And Kevin. Yeah, okay. So season six of Mad Men, we're really chugging along here. Um, I thought of something. So the guy in the last episode with the glasses, the really strange guy who pitches that meeting, who's obviously on something. Right, yeah. Roger's still partying. Roger's still experimenting with LSD. That's probably true, right? Yes. Uh, it didn't really click until I was editing the uh, uh, season five finale that I threw up on, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. We end that season with Roger still tripping, looking out the window. Really right. Hilarious shot. I wonder where they're going with that, because they wouldn't have teased that if it wasn't going to lead to something, right? I, I think we're going to see... I, I think we've got diff- opposite directions for Don and for Roger. Yeah. I think Roger is trying to find himself into a healthier position and is probably going to do it. A more enlightened spot. Right. Yeah. Um, better perspective on life. He's in therapy. He's he's doing the things that Don desperately needs to do, but isn't, right? Yeah. Um, and I think we're seeing Don heading in the opposite direction. I think Don's on his way down. Which is so interesting, because I think when we started the show... They weren't the most. Don wasn't the most progressive man. Right. He definitely was way more progressive than Roger. Roger, right, Roger, right. Blackface, blackface and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah very racist views on Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I really hope that his character kind of switches from that. And I think he is. I think he's on the way to some sort of um, progressive mind state. You know. Yeah. Uh, mindset. And Don, on the other hand, is becoming who Roger was the very first episode of the season. Sure. Well, you know, the last episode, the show. right, was kind of like a state of the union of who are these people really in light of the Martin Luther King tragedy. Yeah. And we saw a lot of gross behavior from a lot of them, right? Especially Harry. From most of them. Yeah. Well, Harry's was gross, but, but he was like the let's just get to work kind of guy. Well, it wasn't even that. He was the most honest about being gross about it. Sure. Everyone was gross. Henry, Henry, and Betty were being completely gross, but but they were, but but they had the BS like this is so sad. But think about how great this would be for your career and mine. Yeah, you know, and and I feel like their oh this is so sad stuff was a little put on. I I, I felt like a lot of people were, were were going through the motions of, you know, this is really sad. I felt like Peggy was going through the motions. Right, what a great time to swoop in and get a great deal on an apartment while this yeah. is going on. Even Abe. Yeah, even Abe. Yeah, yeah Abe, Abe was definitely it was not it was being opportunistic. Everyone was being gross, including Harry, but Harry was the only one being honest about being gross. And I found at least a little bit of nobility in how disgusting Harry was by not saying by by not doing the fake dance, right? Yeah. Um, you know, how many people do you know they're like, I'm not racist, but and then say something racist. Yeah, I hate that. I do too. I despise it yeah. because it's so insincere Absolutely. um and dishonest. Um, and and Harry was at least honest about how gross he is. Sure. Um, and so uh, it, it was still a scene where I was like, "Screw you, dude." No, absolutely no. Yeah. He, he, yeah he, nothing about it is noble. <laughs> yeah. Harry still sucks, but he's the only one that was being honest about sucking. Interesting. Which I which that, I like. Interesting choice that Pete was the only one in the episode where I was like, "Thank you." Pete Pete might have as as far as the the affluent characters anyway. Um, Pete was probably the only one that had a real reaction to it. He's always been that way too. Sure. A- absolutely. That's the like, one thing we can we can you know give him the thumbs up for is that he's you know yeah we saw we saw black characters in the show obviously um none of them well to do that we saw anyway right we saw the cooks at the at the at the kitchen at the restaurant we saw and, and obviously the secretaries who were like earnestly struggling with it yeah. and then we saw the awkwardness of their richer white counterparts struggling to to really be empathetic or knowing like going through like peggy like Joan, Joan in the hug. Yeah, and Joan in the hug. You know, yeah. but Peggy did. Peggy did too. Oh, she did. She did. Yeah, 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 yeah. With 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 her own with her own secretary. Um, and then they were like, "Do you do you want to go home?" Or you know, like I don't know how to deal with what you're what you're going through. It seems to be the most the most sincere moment was with Bobby and the usher at the theater. I think so too, because yeah. he's a kid and he's like, you know, the <laughs> when, when I'm sad, we go to the movies. You know? Yeah, when I'm yeah. sad, we go to the movies. You, you know? know, and I think that. That was the moment where Don realized he loved his son. Yeah, I, I think that that was a lot of it, and and I felt like the that was the one moment too with the usher, where the one character who was really feeling it is a child. Well, no, well, the, the, the usher, usher, yeah, the usher, where, the, where the one character d- didn't have like a we got to keep doing this dance, yeah, you know, position with it. It was like they they were both just vulnerable, yeah. And and Bobby said the one thing he could say to to show empathy. Yeah. I I understand that you're actually genuinely sad and this is what I do when I'm genuinely remorseful. And no one else can do what but Bobby does. That it comes from a child. Is I know. So like a- absolutely. oh my god, you know. Yeah. Um yeah, he, he, he was he was he was sincerely well, empathetic. Children have the innocent world, right? Sure. You know what I mean? Um so that was really cool. And by the way, 
I just really wish that John Hamm won an Emmy for this season because that speech he gives at the very end when he's being honest with Megan. Yeah, that was great. Heartbreaking. Right, yeah. And it, it was understated. It was an understated moment. It was just so well acted. It was perfection. Yeah. And again, it was really interesting that the one truly empathetic character is a seven-year-old boy <laughs> and, and 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 all of the all of the uh you know upper middle class and rich white people that really, know better we're, we're really yeah that, that, that should know better we're really struggling with genuine empathy you yeah. know it was um, a tough episode and then then you had harry who didn't even bother trying with empathy yeah. which you know what good good for you for not faking you can, it you still suck but I, good I for you for not faking you it. can respect that more than you can respect somebody put, going through the motions and being like, "Oh, this is so sad. Let me just take a dance." Yeah, look, uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, I thought, I thought Henry and 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 Betty and Peggy and Abe were opportunists. Yeah, we're we're really gross about it. I I think Harry was just as gross as them. Think about the same thing, but at least Harry was honest about it. Sure. And I said like, "Yeah, this is really sad. It's a darn tragedy. Anyway, what do we get out of it?" You know, which is what yeah. I thought everyone else was doing. Yeah. At any rate, maybe I'm reading that wrong, but I, I think as, as, as much as as much as I can't it. stand Harry, and I can't stand Harry, thank you for at least wearing your self interest on your sleeves instead of um, putting on a, a a crap facade. Absolutely. Do you want to go ahead and welcome Kelda Carlson, Brandon, Tim, and Cameron Miller to our Patreon group? Thanks so much, guys. We're really happy you're here with us. Yes, we are. If you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Hello. If you might hit the like button for us, leave us a comment down below, and please, please, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way. If you like to see a full-length reaction to this and everything else we watched or watching, please check out a link in the description of our Patreon page. On all shows we're watching, including Mad Men, we're at least four episodes ahead on Patreon of where we are on YouTube. So if you get done watching this edit on YouTube and want to keep going, you can do it over there. You will have to sync and watch along on your own streaming service. You will only see and hear us for copyright purposes. Yeah. We're also watching 30 Rock right now as a Patreon exclusive. All right. For those of you back with us on Patreon, welcome back, guys. Here we go and start. Uh, episode six here in three, two, one. Considering the precedent for small agencies, this is how we might take you public. No, oh, okay, so they're gonna, they're gonna get richer. Awesome. Yeah. I'll need these documents for 24 hours. So the, so the rich are about to get much, much richer. Yeah. Shall we? The problem is, is when you do that, people can buy your company. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm hostile takeover. That's why I'm wondering. Cooper pushed that poor banker too hard, do you? Is something going to happen? Right. Oh, it's a marvel. Everyone wants you, don't they? Well, who's rich and hates them? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. The big firm that wanted to hire Don in season one. The one who was hiring Be uh, Betty to yeah. co ads. Why don't they come back? I don't think Don cares about money. That may be true. God bless him. <laughs> this capitalization will double our size. And that will turn his yeah. head. I think Don cares about money, but not really. I hope Clara reminded you tomorrow's Mother's Day. Thank you, I'm aware. Can we turn it up as a smidge? Yep. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, so this is happening. I don't even know what time it is. I do. Because I already got up and put on my face. <laughs> she pulled on Mrs. Maisel. Yeah. You're supposed to have your ear to the ground. I feel like you only call me when you want to see me. <laughs> How about tonight? Some other boyfriend? The one you give all the leads to? With my mother. Yeah. Yeah. You should call the mother of your child. But my Ooh, mother just kidding. died. That's true. Oh my god. Well, that's manipulative. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Sleaze bag, Roger. But my mom's dead. Get back in bed. Yeah. That's quite a shot. I was, I was just thinking, like, okay, MC. <laughs> she's back in town. I wonder if she's going to see Roger. Of course. She's out there. See, casual Don still looks like he did in the 50s, too. Yeah. It's a great look, though. Yeah. Sorry, this is Megan's mother, Marie. We passed in the lobby. I thought you were Megan. <laughs> Kid's going to Paris. Should I keep him home? I am French, but I live in Montreal. And yes, I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia's going to expect an actual gift. Do you want my flowers? I'm quite done with them. That's Thank quite you, mother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
What a slap in the face that is. Here, take these flowers. Take these gifts someone just got me. There's poop on the stairs again. <laughs> no, it's human. Ew, they did not get a nice apartment, did they? She doesn't care. I want her out. We can't do that. Well, I feel like if you're pooping on the stairs... I feel like this is what Abe always wanted. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, to live in somewhere real. Salty ah, yeah. ah, ah. But he's not built hand. for it. We have to hire a handyman. He does come from a place of privilege, for sure. Yeah. He's, he's playing poverty. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be poor until he doesn't want to be poor anymore. There is a certain level of nobility to it, I guess, but it does feel performative, right? No, it is. It's yeah. completely performative. Slumming is what, yeah. is what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. I want to go over where we are on Chevrolet again and devote our final days to overdoing it. That is Harry Hamlin, by the way. Yeah, I, I saw somebody say that. And I don't want to stare at this work again. We should have never resigned Alfa Romeo. What is this mystery Chevy going to be in The Graduate? Those things are flying off the lot. <laughs> I love what you're doing. I'm tired of rockets, that's all. Could you give us a moment? <laughs> also, love his jacket. Yeah. Underrated aspect of the show is the, uh, the, 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 the costumes. Well, for sure. What's gotten into you? You're supposed to be calming me down. Ted, I've got cancer. Oh. In my pancreas. Oh, no, no, that's, yeah. No. Maybe it's more of a financial issue to him, but I'm glad he can keep a secret. Todd. You have cancer. See, if we still had Alpha, I wouldn't have to worry about putting you out of business. Ooh, maybe this is how we get Peggy back. Stop yeah. talking about money. Second, we are going to get Chevy because you are going to do your best work. Third, if you're going to build a wing at Sloan Kettering and beat this thing. You know what? Ted's not a bad guy. Actually, I take back every horrible thing I said. That's that's that. amazing. It makes me he kinda... didn't he didn't focus on the money at all. This was no. anti Harry right there. Yeah. What a good person. Yeah, that was. What are you wearing? My uniform. I have one, and his flight's delayed. Who is he? I think she was in that Friday the Thirteenth reboot as well. The one that Genslinger was in. Oh yeah, yeah. Not Genslinger. Uh, Ginsburg. Right. <laughs> mother looks like she's gonna be insecure about that she, she doesn't want her to do it yeah at the end of season five she was telling don like you know just take control yeah she'd be i'll make her bring them over good idea i'm full of them <laughs> roger is really really great with this aspect of the job he is. isn't he and bring him a double gym beam and get me on that flight like she's gonna fly she's gonna fly out with the guy yeah <laughs> And Herb always says the same thing. How much damage did you do, Peaches? <laughs> Herb is the worst. Yeah. You got a hold of Silver Bells? No, that doesn't mean he's not coming. I'm pretty much done waiting. Perhaps we should go. What? Are they getting fired after everything that Joan went through? I would be very upset if that's the case. Oh my God, that'd be horrible, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. At $11 a share. Really? I believe I would like a drink. <laughs> I don't want to see him drink. If they go public and they lose Jaguar, I wonder what that means. Their stock price will dip, probably. Yeah. Their flowers. No. I don't have any <laughs> laudanum either. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise me. Bob, could you get Joan and some ice? Absolutely. Bob. Hello, Bob. Hey, he seems nice enough. Yeah, he does. Ambitious, yeah. but I like him. Call the meeting for tomorrow. I love how excited Pete is. He's yeah. like, Bert's gonna drink with me? <laughs> right among the, you know, there's an oil stain that Herb's been meaning to take care of. There <laughs> Everyone's hating this evening. I know. Papers went to Notre Dame. You're right, Mother. They must have been adorable. Good job, Megan. And one brown, and then three sort of mixed, each one <laughs> at its own nipple. I love puppies. That's it. <laughs> what a delivery. Yeah. Don, I love puppies, Draper. Yeah. <laughs> Discuss the business they're probably here to talk about. Well, 
we powder our noses. You can't be mad at Roger because he's actually hustling right now. He is. He's a good hustler, man. He, he should have called on, but he's hustling yeah. right now. And young and lovely. He's like, I'll hit you in the face right now. <laughs> yeah, Don, Don does not mask his disgust for this guy. No. There you go. Uh, what is this? It's the name of the guy who's going to be handling your account from now on. Oh, God, yeah. You never fail to overheat, do you? No. What's I'm doing because you're so touchy. Really? Man, your size. You know what? Burn. Don't sit down. Dinner's over. Are you okay? Never felt better in my life. Wash your hands of them, yeah. Uh, that might be a big deal, though. No, for sure, it is. I don't, I don't, I think he might be in trouble for this. He might be. Couldn't help himself, I guess. Nope. I can't blame him, but yeah, this might screw them over a little bit. I don't think he should have done that. That was impulsive and not his call. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Pete's gonna be livid. They all, they all, they will, all will. Every, yeah. every, I think Joan's gonna be the most mad. You know what I had to go through to get that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's mad that Roger never showed up. Be a little uncomfortable talking about the lobby in the next room. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Don't hang up. Let me talk to Don. Did you call to talk to Don? He's indisposed. His disgusting wife. She's the apple that goes in the pig's mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> Something came up, something very important that I need to talk to Don about. You are speaking slowly, so I will... So is Roger going to save the day with a new account? Maybe. Name. Is it a call back? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, Marie. Sometimes I forget that she's seven years old. Yeah. For me to pay for my friend. <laughs> yes, but it's too late for that. What are you bugging him for? Jesus, Pete. <laughs> He's my friend. What was your fake name again? Curious George. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, that is so awkward. Good night. Isn't that guy a client? Dear it's, it's Lord. His... He's not a client. He's bigger than that. Yes and no. It's my father-in-law. That's so awkward. Took me a second. <laughs> There's no point for Boston to see there yet. On Lex. And I saw my father in law exit the bedroom with the biggest. <laughs> Ken. Was there Ken anyone saw... else from Vix there? In there too, though. It was mutually assured destruction. Yeah. So he's not going to say anything. He can't. He can't. Yeah. yeah. I guess he could pull his account, but why would he do that? Why are they calling you? Oh, pick it up. Don fired him. Yep. Any idea where Roger has been for the last 24 hours? I don't. Draper! Yeah. What in the hell have you... Oh, <laughs> God. He already lost the account. He was going to bring in some kid to write copy. Well, that's because you screwed him last time. You couldn't wait. Joan's going to be mad. Yeah. Bring underway, and now it's ruined. What? You don't care about the company. You're already rich. Not here. I don't think Joan's gonna like this either. No, she is not. I have some good news and some bad news. Where the hell have you been? Don fired Jaguar. What? And I just have good news. <laughs> Friday on Chevy's top secret. Oh, well, yeah. What? For okay, it was Chevy, yeah. Chevy your whole life. Are you serious? Still them from and shop. I have this check for $10,000 because I closed, Pete. I closed things. Roger's kind of the hero here. Chevy. You want to go public? How much better is it when we have Chevy? Don't act like you had a plan. Yeah. Roger, I want to know everything. Pete, go box up Jaguar. Make sure they have all their files today. Joan, get the creatives in my office. Get them yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's bad. I'm with Joan. 
That's and what fair. now? I went through all of that for nothing. Okay. He didn't even think about her feelings. I would like to hear you use the word we. Because we're all rooting for you from the sidelines. Hoping that you'll decide whatever you think is right for our lives. Yeah. That's fair. If completely. Totally fair. I'm on Joan's side 100% here. And that guy sucked. I Look, get yeah, it. I'd want to tell her off as well. Big picture. You know what I mean? It's hard. You can't let your emotions get wrapped up in this. Yeah, look, everybody's scattering. You. Should we go in there? I don't care. It's easy to let emotions run high, I guess. It's, it's a GM car. It's got four wheels and an engine. No. It's totally new. I want you to go to the library and give me everything you can on Mustang. And Chevy. Oh. Okay, Mustang's Ford. So, like, a Camaro, maybe? Yeah. Or a Chevelle, maybe? How about it? Don got lucky there. I'm not a car guy, so I'm not really big on I don't really know what they're talking about. I don't think we're supposed to know yeah, sure. yet. I like the fact that you're... Do not say I'm nice. I hate it when people say I'm nice. You are nice. <laughs> Draw. Yeah, there I was we wondering go. if that yeah. was coming. Yeah. It's been coming for a while. That last episode of them looking at each other. Oh, yeah. Or I guess more so him looking at her. It's a lawsuit today. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's a couple hundred thousand dollars in a non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> but I am grateful. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, she's not upset about it. She was smiling. Yeah. That... I just don't see Abe sticking around for much longer. I... I... They're, they're, they're just so different. They, yeah, they're they're both they're both playing. There's a weird fit even back in season four. Yeah. They're playing house together. Actually, can you get those lugs from Dancer bumped off the flight? Roger, I told you, I can't hurt the company. They bought most of the seats. Is this, is this the firm going in for the same uh, pitch? Probably. When did they add you guys to the mix? When they saw your work. <laughs> <laughs> what are the billings for Bix? Nine million? Someone's gonna pick that up. His father-in-law fired him. So Pete blew it too. Pete blew it. Yeah. Yeah. Are we losing Vix? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Roger's calling from the airport. He says something happened with Vic Chemical. Tell my father-in-law I am not joking. Believe me, you do not want me in your lobby. <laughs> oh yeah, they're screwed. Yeah, there's some things yeah, really going a, wrong here. Well, hypocrisy there with Pete. Yeah. Handle it. But it's not work related. Well, we're screwing with this. Really? Daisy's gonna lose their luggage. <laughs> he did go over there to go off on him. To bring you back to reality in this obviously impulsive decision. My daughter is a princess. Yep. You just pressed the button, Tom. You just blew everything up. Well, it makes me sick. Who's there too? She's getting divorced. <laughs> I mean, the paint fumes are making me sick. I kind of get it. It's like it is his daughter, but at the same time, he's just as gross. Yeah, There's you know, he's just as, he's on. just as bad. It's definitely hypocrisy. Yeah. Look, the neighborhood's changing. We're a part of that. I don't like change. I want everything to stay the way it was. So she is Don, She's isn't Don, she? Totally. Yeah. That's the most Don Draper thing. Johnson's gone. The war is going to end. We're going to have a new president, no matter what. Yeah, you still got some time, dude. Yeah. Worst case, Kennedy. I love Bobby Kennedy. It's Nixon. <laughs> yeah. Dark days are ahead. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> the turtleneck. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to kiss me. I like the smoking jacket yeah, and everything. Too, yeah. Suave. Yeah, Abe and Peggy have no business being in a relationship together. They, really they are opposite people. Totally. And not in a good way. The fact that she has to pretend she's kissing Shaw is like, right? That, that's, that's insane. Damn it. Interesting. 
Hello to you too. Yeah, yeah good to see you. Yeah. Detroit. My doctor recommended an ocean voyage. <laughs> <laughs> he knows why he's there. Yeah. But I didn't know all I had to do was show up. You don't know what this means? They're two small firms. You know how this works. They're going to take our creative and give it to one of the big boys. Second place. Ty well, that's crappy if that's what they do. Yeah. Come on, you know I'm right. Well, it happened the last time, too, because they didn't yeah. get Heinz. Yeah. This is General Motors. They fight the war with bodies on the ground. I saw a dancer at the airport. Looked like half my office. Yeah. Yeah. This is rigged. Yes, it is. And he and he blew it up with, with Jaguar. He did. Sorry about that. I'm tired of this crap. So this guy's gonna be friends. <laughs> yeah. SCDB. A little company with the big ideas. CGC. Giving away creative one car at a time. <laughs> well, they're both an interesting spot. They're both losing. Yeah. What? What, I show you mine, you show me yours? It's a difference at this point. Yeah. You first. Yeah. I gotta stand up. <laughs> I think it's cool that these guys become friends. Yeah, I like, I mean, I used to hate Ted, now I kind of like him. Oh, yeah, we definitely got a better Ted than this episode. For sure. Plus design equals adventure. Throw the map out the window and hit the road, Jack. And then I sing the song. <laughs> I try to sing the song. That's not bad. Yeah. Just music. People's faces. All kinds. Teenagers, dads, moms. Different expressions of wonder. Down of the nostalgia. Mm -hmm. The future is something you haven't even thought of yet. You run that for a week, then you finally show the car. Well, that's good. That's interesting. Yeah, he knows. He knows it's better. Yeah. <laughs> I think Don's is better. It is better. So should we go home? Nah, I give him just pitch it. Is there? We. That's interesting. Why you want to stay just so Chevy can put a feather in your cap? Is he talking about merging? I was thinking that. I like, did until I said we. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. Both of us have the creative. Yeah, he is. But neither of us have an agency to match. That's how we get Peggy back, too. Oh, this is good. I hope that's it. I love Ted working there with That'd him. That'd be awesome. We'll have to figure out what the hell we're going to present. Well, we have partners. Who aren't sitting in this bar. If it gets some Chevy, I bet everyone goes along with oh, it. Oh, yeah. Do they still go public? Later. Yeah. But I don't think immediately. Yeah. We've got a long night. <laughs> this is awesome. Heck yeah, I dude. love this. I kind of, I, I was thinking about that I because did, I, we're I, both I, losing, like, companies. I, I wasn't thinking about it until Don said, we, that's an interesting well, idea. I didn't want to, like, throw it out there and be like, yeah. oh, I'm totally wrong. <laughs> right. But, like, what a great, like, tease, you know what I mean? And Harry Hamlin would be in the cast, too. Yes, he would. <laughs> it's going to work. Harry Hamlin would be in a nice little uh, mirror for Roger there. Right, too. yeah. They've got their own Roger and Harry <laughs> Hamlin. That's awesome. Yeah, because they're both impossibly handsome yeah. older men. Silver foxes. Yeah. <laughs> this is the greatest show of all time. This is yeah. the best show. This is great. Like, so is it a Corvette? No. Well. That's what they were showing there. Yeah. Maybe it is a Corvette. I don't know when Corvettes came out. Probably not, because it's probably not made yet, whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, it could be the... I mean, it could be an El Camino for all we know. <laughs> yeah. No. And I don't care, Peter. You understand that we were going to be very rich, but he's ruined that. You still are. Just calm down. He's a hypocrite, Trudy. He is a hypocrite. That's true. I guess it doesn't matter that I caught him in a midtown whorehouse. There you go. You had lots of choices, Peter. We're done. Get your things. I think they need to get divorced. Trudy's better off without him. Yeah. He needs to go off and do whatever he needs to go off and do. Yeah. He, uh, genuinely, he does not deserve it. Yeah. That's all I know.
this wouldn't be happening if Peggy. you cheated your wife in the first place. It would be happening right. if you went to the brothel in the first place either. Like just Peggy's Peggy's brain's about to explode when she finds out she's working for <laughs> for uh, Sterling Cooper again. We got it. Yep. Oof. We won Chevy. <laughs> oh my God, God's there. <gasps> what are you doing here? We went in together. Hey, hey, I'm back. <laughs> Just for Chevy? No. We merged. Furniture, fixtures, everything. <laughs> That's one heck of a title now. You are the copy chief at one of the top 25 ad agencies in the country. You're not even 30. I'm jealous. <laughs> She's working for Don again. She doesn't like it. Congratulations. She thought she was away. We don't have a name yet, Merger. but make it sound like the agency you want to work for. It's not the agency Prestige she wants to work worldwide. for, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's gonna have a harder time than anybody with this. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it! <laughs> Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. What an episode. The best of the, of the season so far. This is the best of season six. What a curveball. I, I didn't coming until it did. I didn't either. And like, as the episode was going along, obviously, uh, with the Jaguar thing and the right. picks, and then like, you know, Shaw being like, dang it, we're going to lose Chevy. I was like, well, it, it's weird that they're showing both these companies like losing clients like that. And I was like, I wonder if they could merge. It, it, it crossed my mind, but it I was like, but I was like, surely it's not going to happen. Right. I was just kind of racking my brain thinking of like, what are the outs here? But with them going public, I was like, well, they're not going to do that because we well, can't. Public. I mean, yeah, yeah, not maybe after the merger's done yeah. and, and, and that, you know, they're working with Chevy, maybe yes. they can't then, but yeah, it'd be it'd definitely push farther down the road. So I didn't even, so I was like, ah, it's not gonna happen, yeah. Right. I mean, but then at, the, then at the bar, like they did gel very well with one another. They did. I wonder if it's going to be that way the entire time or if they are actually going to butt heads because I'm sure they will. This is two different companies, they're both sure. the heads of the, these companies, they're gonna have different ways they do things, so. Seeing how that dynamic works, right, is going to be really fun. I really, I mean, I, I honestly bet there's going to be some contention between the two of them at some point. I, I'm sure at some point, but I think the as, as far as like who who does everybody go to, and yeah. I, I think there's going to be some some measuring contests and, and some insecurity oh, yeah. and like why is the staff going to Ted when they should be going to Don and vice versa. But it makes for good TV. It makes for great TV, and yeah. I think, but I do think the person is clearly going to struggle most with it's Peggy, Peggy who sure. had absolutely no desire to ever work for Don Draper again. No. <sighs> This being the case, I think she can still be working for Ted. Sure, she can take things to Ted instead of Don. Obviously, right? I don't know how these how those rankings going to work. Well, I mean, yeah, they haven't. They haven't, there's no organizational structure yet, so sure. you, don't, you don't really know. But I mean, Don is going to be one of the main partners. He's still, and boss. He's still going to be. He's still going to be the boss. He's still going to be in the board meetings. Yeah. Um. So it's, he's definitely. Yeah, he's definitely in charge of her. It's interesting that we called her Don earlier. It's like she can't escape her fate. Yeah. You know. Yeah, for sure. And, and she is. You know, she's. I, I don't know what this means for her and Abe. I, I, think he's I, I, out the door. I think he's out the door, and I think that this um, and and her discomfort with this is going to push her even more towards Ted. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, th I think that, that you know if if uh, if she wasn't r running that way already, mm -hmm. the simple fact that now she has something to run away from in Sterling Cooper and Don specifically really really drives that home. Yeah, and we're, I want to see her and Stan. Face to face again. They've got to make up because Stan, Stan Stan is not a fan of hers right now. No, and she'll be his boss again. You know, she'll right? Be, you know, with, with well, I, I don't think she's going to be his boss. They're both in creative, but I think he's on, on the art side and she's on the copy side. So, yeah, okay. I, I don't. I think I don't well, think she was ever his boss. We saw her yelling at the uh, the copyright guys. Sure. And the uh, a couple episodes ago, actually, when Ted was like, "Be nice to them." Right. So I don't know. They'll but, be working. Yeah, but Stan's not a copyright guy. Stan's an art guy. He is an art guy. Okay, yeah, he's, yeah, the art, yeah, he's the art right. department. Yeah. My mistake. My mistake. That's right. Um, yeah, that's what I thought she was yelling at because they were bringing her ideas and stuff. But no. Well, I mean, like it, it's easy to, to to kind of mumble it because Stan was always hanging out with the copy guys. He was. Yeah. So when she was like the guy she fired, right? Yeah. When when she was going off on the copy guys, Stan was always there because he was, he was, he was always hanging out with them. Sure, 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 sure. I mean, yeah, because they don't really dedicate time to breaking down who's who. Yeah, no, of course know? not. Which is right. which is brilliant. You know, we were able right. to like discern. He's basically ourselves. Stan's the new Saul. So he's kind yeah. of his own department. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I just, I, I, I'm loving Stan this season. I'm loving all the characters this season. There's no one I'm really against except for Harry, and yeah. obviously Pete. Pete, 
it has his moments, obviously, but still, we're like, screw you, Pete. Pete is, Pete's great at his job and a terrible person. Yeah. Harry is great at his job and a terrible person. And the same can be said for Don. And, and, and there, and there are different times you can say that about Don as well. Although I think I do think Don is a better person than all of them, ironically, than than most of them. No, yeah. truly, because he's not. He's gross, right? But he's not intentionally gross i guess I mean, he can be but it, he's not a, he's not he's an enigma for sure yeah he's well his his stuff is is um self-servingly gross yeah. whereas guys like pete and harry don't mind just burning Stepping somebody else people, yeah, yeah exactly for sure you know um we had a you know, someone that commented um on the the mad minute one this morning i was looking at comments on youtube because you know I, I answer those and somebody was mad at us because we called don abusive after the in the finale last time sure and he's like, you know, what about, you know, he brought up an interesting point. Megan married Don and then immediately wanted to go quit, do this acting thing, move to the West Coast possibly. And it was like, did you just marry Don to, to jump into these opportunities? And that's a fair conversation to have, I guess, but I don't feel like it went that way. I think she had to first figure out that she hated being a Sterling Cooper. And I don't yeah. think, I think that was post-marriage that she figured that out. So I don't think that was what, like it was a, a, a long con, but um, Even it's a con. I mean, like, just because you no, I don't. doesn't mean you get rid of your own autonomy. Like, she's not going to be a housewife. She has her own, you know, wants and needs and career. Like, right. Nice. But but she didn't bring it up until after they got married. Like, oh, by the way, I I want to become an I want to quit, become an actress, and move to Hollywood. Fair, right? Fair. But 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 they again, could be going that route. But right. I don't think so. But well, but, but I, I I disagree with that a little bit simply because I don't think that I think that came later. Right. Yeah. I don't I don't think it was the plan from all yeah, from the things, beginning. Things change. Right. Yeah. Um. But. You know, when you're talking about Don being abusive, what we should have been more clear on is Don is psychologically abusive. Yeah. Not, obviously, he's not physically abusive. It, it, it rubbed the line, that but, one episode, the, How, the Howard Johnson's episode. That towed the yeah, line a, a little bit. A little bit. But yeah, he's, he's more, obviously, it's more like mentally. And, and yeah, no, he, no he, he's psychologically abusive. Yeah. He's he's a gaslighter. Uh, he's, he's very manipulative. Big time. And, and that is manipulation. And that, I mean, sorry, that, that is abuse, right? That, is. that that that's a di It's a different kind of abuse. It's psychological warfare, but it's abusive he's psychological made her cry warfare. Sure. Several times. Absolutely. You know? Like, it's not and, okay. And so, yeah, so um, I, I don't give Don a, a terrible uh, amount of credit. I don't no. think he, do I think he's as bad as Joan's ex husband? Absolutely. No. Greg? Greg was the worst. Absolutely not. Don, Don is nowhere near the monster that Greg was. He's not. Um, but. I, I do agree. I, I do think he is a better person than Pete and a better person than Harry, despite his incredible flaws. Yeah. But I think he's heading for a cliff. I think, and I, and I think the amount of drinking he's doing, plus the ongoing affair that seems to be getting Close emotionally closer. serious yeah. in, you know, um, in his own building with a guy he's, he's supposedly friends with, you know, his wife. Um, I, I, I think that that is just, dark right it, yeah. you know you, you go back to the beginning of the season where he's sitting on a beach and he's reading the inferno right yeah. <laughs> in the op the opening episode the two partners called his own personal it, it's called the doorway yep. right it, he's dead he's you know literally stepping into hell um get yeah, don don's heading for, for for a fall here um and i don't know what it's going to look like because again professionally things seem to be going well and and he <laughs> tried to ruin it you know, with Jaguar, he, he really tried to ruin it, and Roger ended up basically saving. Roger and Ted ended up saving him. Now they did big time, and you know, I he's definitely wrong because that was not his call to do that, right? No, it's not he his call have done it at all. And no. Even Joan, I think I, I am a hundred percent on Joan's side. That should have been Joan's call and not. Oh his. yeah, for sure. she should be in charge of that whole thing. Honestly, right? I don't know what she had to go hey through. Joan, I don't want to go to dinner with this guy, and I don't know how it's going to go. Yeah. You tell me what you want to happen here. Yeah, can I headbutt him? You are in charge <laughs> of how we actually deal with this. Yeah. Now, that being said, there was something very satisfying about him talking about. Because we all, well, yeah, we, we, we hate all the guy. Yeah. We all hate her, but, right? But, um, but talk about just getting lucky there. Pure luck, sheer luck, dude. And the Vix thing, just unfortunate. Which I understand why Pete was mad at Don, and I think he had every right to be mad at him. Now, it's ironic because Pete ended up doing the same thing. Unintentionally, right? I don't. I don't think it's the same thing. I think what Don did was worse. Pete was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I know what he was doing was wrong. He was cheating on his wife, but he was yeah. just there. He was just there. He wrong was place, right. Place, wrong place, he, wrong time. he he didn't go into his his father in law's office and say, "By the way, I'm going to a sure. a house of ill repute tonight, cheating on your daughter." What I'm saying is, yeah, like he should not have been there cheating on his daughter. Like it, it's the, if, if right. He, if he wouldn't have been but, in but the first that, place, they would have lost it. You but know? but it's different. What Don did was was unprofessional. What Pete did was personally disgusting, and those are different yeah. things. Well, I'm just saying it's ironic that no, it is. It yeah. is that, 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 that you know. 
Pete went off on Don for doing something that, that hurt the company. And, and twenty then, minutes later, and twenty minutes later, Pete's <laughs> doing something that hurts the company. You're yeah. you're right on that, but it is I, I, I give Pete, and yang. right. I give Pete a little bit of grace because what he was doing wasn't like professionally destructive, or shouldn't have been sure. professionally destructive. It should sure. have destroyed his marriage, which it did. It did. It, right. It's it's funny because yeah, Pete's personal life is kind of falling apart right now. Completely, and it, and it deserves it. I mean, honestly, no, he does. He's no, a he's, creepy little guy. He's always been that guy. He's always been a terrible husband. He was, you know. Season one, episode one was was him and Peggy, yeah. the day before his wedding. They have you a know, kid. right? So yeah, exactly. So you know, there's there's a lot to really hate about Pete, despite the fact he does an awful lot of moralizing on the show, and he's often right about it. Yeah, you know, he there's a lot of things Pete is is morally right about, but he's got that one blind spot. You know, that, that sure. he's an insecure weasel when it comes to women that needs that kind of validation that he's a real man. Yeah, it's interesting that he's so like woke. To like social, um, social, social statures and stuff, but sure. like, but but even in this episode, he was kind of gross about how he was describing the uh, the woman that his father. No, no, he was, was. yeah, he was absolutely gross. Right? Yeah, but it's like yeah, when it comes to women and, and, and other people, he's just a, such a little. Yeah, no, thing. no, the the race of the woman was very important that he bring that up more than yeah, once, you it know? was gross the way he said it. Sure, absolutely, a was. couple times. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, this show, even the argument with with Peggy or I'm not Peggy, uh, Joan and Don and partners like that episode kind of got my blood pressure going this is a, a, little gr- bit, this is a great episode yeah it, it was really a great moment and it, it's just people talking in rooms smoking right. and drinking and it's the greatest show that i've ever seen yeah, and, and, and the amazing thing about it is like we've had this sh- the show's blown up more than once right yeah, it has. They, they, they've like we're gonna blow up the structure of the show since season four right yeah, yeah. five and six have all been like progressions you know what i mean it, it's it's rising you know but this is the first time they've done it like mid-season yeah Right, I, I, I mean, like this wasn't a big finale or anything. They just mid season like threw a curveball. I truly think that this season will be in service of season seven. I do too. I can't 100%. wait right. to get to that because yeah. I know each season is phenomenal. There's no weak season of the show. Nope. I can only imagine how good seven's going to be. Right, where we, we kind of like, and I, you know, get towards that. How do you wrap up a series like this? Where the, where the wheels of commerce are always turning. How do you end this, a show like this? I know, you know? and I know they nail it because, like, if it would have been a poor final season, you know, people would have talked right? about like, it for years. Like, you, ne- you never had to watch one minute of Game of Thrones to know how people feel about the end of Game of Thrones. I've never watched one minute of Lost, and I know there's people who absolutely cannot stand how exactly. Lost ended. Exactly. I, I mean, I don't know how it ended. I know some people defend it and some don't, just like everything else. I've never watched The Sopranos, and I know that that was a controversial They, they wrapped it up controversially, sure. you know? Um but yeah, I haven't heard one negative thing Not about how this show movie. ends, so I'm pretty excited and about people it. People ask me like, "What's your favorite TV show?" I'm like, "Mad Men," and I'm like, yeah. and they're like, "Oh, have you seen all of it?" I'm like, "No, I'm still watching it, but it's my favorite show of all time." People go, "Really?" And I'm like, "Have you seen it?" It like, is engaging, yeah, truly, and it's people just sitting in rooms and talking, like, yeah, oh, it's amazing. This is, it's, this is how you write a TV show, right? Heck a, yeah. a television drama for sure. How I'm writing. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.